Hmm. You guys want me to tell you another story? All right. So there I was, working as a small arms and tactics instructor for the United States military. We were on the range, and this is a different time. This is way different than the sunflower seeds time. Shooting pistols, the M9 Beretta. First drill of the day. We get the first group of students lined up, give them their instructions, tell them to go ahead and draw their pistols and gauge the target. Shooter down on, I don't know, target number five, let's say. Fires his gun once, twice, and then starts shaking his head and yelling and raises his non-firing hand, keeping his weapon pointed down at the target. So the coach runs over, what's the matter? My eyes, my eyes, I can't see. This is not a good thing, right? So this coach takes the pistol from the shooter. We call up the corpsman, have the corpsman escort the shooter off the line. Serious situation, right? So uh, corpsman takes the, the young man off to the side, deals with them, the rest of us go back to training, go back afterwards and I talk to the corpsman. What, what happened? What happened to our shooter there? He said, well, as near as I can figure, he got gun lube in his eyes. Gun lube in his eyes? But he was wearing safety glasses, right? Yeah, he was wearing safety glasses. He was shooting a pistol, right? Not a rifle, not a suppressed rifle, just a regular old pistol. Well, apparently, the young man thought that if a little bit of lube was good, a lot of lube would be way better. And when he uh, checked his gun out of the armory, they had these great big spray bottles of CLP that you could use. And so what the young man did is he opened up his gun and he took the spray bottle and he squirted it. And he put a heavy, super heavy coat of CLP in, on, and around his Beretta. So that when he fired the first couple of shots, what essentially happened was a cloud of CLP gun lube spray came back and covered his face. And some of it, yes indeed, got into his eyes and hurt his little feelings. And of course the, the corpsman, in order to fix that problem, had him tilt his head back and took bottled water and poured it in his eyes so he's okay. So the uh, moral of the story is every once in a while people say there's no such thing as too much lube. Hmm. That might be the case, but when it comes to guns, there is such a thing as too much lube.